Welcome back to Online Classroom J. Kutio. In this video, we are going to look at Chapter 3, Nutrition. The first topic of Chapter 3 is the classes of food. What does your breakfast look like? Do you know that when we eat, the food not only gives us energy, it also provides our body with nutrients. And actually, there are 7 different classes of food. Let's, let us look at them one by one. We have carbohydrate, protein, fat, vitamin, mineral, fiber, and also water. Okay? So in this video, mainly we are just going to look at them one by one. What is their function? And also what are the sources of these classes of food? First, carbohydrate. Carbohydrate actually is organic compound that contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And it is staple for humans. Wait a minute, what is staple? Staple is the food that you eat mostly every day, all the time. Something that always appear in your diet that is staple. For example, for Asian, our staple is noodles or rice. Example of carbohydrate, we have three types. Starch, that is the food that is stored in plants. Glycogen, food stored in animals and cellulose carbohydrate that forms the cell walls of plants. The function of carbohydrates is to supply us with energy. That is why it is the staple for human. What are the sources of carbohydrate? Okay, we have bread, rice, potato, sugar, honey, and banana. It's all the starchy food. How about protein? Protein contains carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. It is digested into the basic unit called amino acid. We will learn more about amino acid in the topic yet to come in this chapter. So don't worry about it, okay? So the function of protein, it is required for growth. And it repairs damaged tissue, replace dead cells, synthesize enzymes, hormones, and antibodies. Let's look at some sources of protein. We have chicken, seafood, meat, nuts, eggs, and milk. Here are all the examples of protein. Almost all of the meats from any form of animals, they are protein. And then egg and milk and nuts. Okay, those are a few other examples of protein. Next, we are going to look at the third class. It is the fat. Fat contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Does that ring a bell? Okay, it is the same as carbohydrate, but it is formed from glycerol and fatty acid. The function of fat is just like carbohydrate. It supplies energy. But it does not only just supply energy, it supplies a lot of energy. It supplies two times the total energy that is supplied by carbohydrates. And also it protects the organs, for example, the heart, the kidney, and so on in our bodies. Okay? And it is also the transporter of vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and K, ADEC. And the excess fat is normally stored under the skin. It is heat insulator to regulate body temperature. What are some sources of fat? We have butter, coconut oil, palm oil, and ground nuts. Okay? Next, what is fiber? Fiber is actually a substance that cannot be broken down by digestive system, meaning we cannot digest it, okay? And it comprises of cellulose that is found in cell wall of plants. What is the use of fiber if we cannot digest it? Actually, fiber is very important. It stimulates peristalsis, meaning it stimulates or it makes it easier for the food to move in your digestive Track and it prevents constipation because it helps the food to move along in the digestive tract. Let us look at some sources of fiber. It's easy, it's just vegetables and fruits, and also high fiber bread and grains. 
okay so all this food are full of fiber it is high in fiber even though we cannot digest them it is very important for our body next let us look at water water contains hydrogen and oxygen of course because h2o h hydrogen o oxygen what is the function of water it acts as chemical solvent and transportation medium of nutrients and oxygen into the cells and it also transport waste materials such as urea and salt out of the cell so it is a transportation uh, medium for nutrients or things that go into the cell and for things that go outside of the cell besides that it also regulates our body temperature through the evaporation of sweat what are some of the sources of water we have fruit juice and watermelon vitamins Vitamins are actually organic compounds that does not supply energy. It is needed by the body in very small quantities. And the function of vitamin is just to maintain good health. Well, is that so simple? Well, we have many types of vitamin. We have A, B, C, D, E, and K. Okay, we have six different types of vitamin and they can be divided into two different types, the water soluble and the fat soluble. For the water soluble, it is B and C, and the rest, they are all fat soluble. You want to remember it? Just remember ADEK. A, D, E, K, they are the fat soluble vitamins. So let's look at different vitamins because they all have different function, and if you lack any one of them, they leave different effects. Okay? What is the importance of vitamin A? It helps with night vision number one and it maintains skin health and if you do not have enough vitamin A in your body what will happen well it might cause night blindness and also skin disease so where can we get vitamin A we can get it from egg yolk milk and carrot fish oil okay here are the sources of vitamin A next let us look at vitamin B the importance of vitamin B it maintains the functions of the nervous system and also the formation of red blood cells. So if we do not have vitamin B, what will happen? A disease called beriberi and also anemia. Anemia is a disease that lacks red blood cell. Okay. So the sources of vitamin B will be eggs, liver, and yeast. Yeast is something that we use in making bread, okay? How about vitamin C? Vitamin C is something that we hear a lot, right? Okay? The importance of vitamin C will be fight diseases and to maintain the health of gums and mouth. What is gum? This one, under your teeth, is your gum, okay? Effects of deficiency, well, if you do not have enough vitamin C, you might have scurvy, meaning your gum, underneath your teeth, the gum might be bleeding. Okay? And the source of vitamin C will be vegetables and fruits, especially citrus, okay? oranges. Vitamin D. The importance of vitamin D is to help in the absorption of calcium, strengthen tooth animal, and also to maintain skin health. If we do not have enough, what will happen? Rickets, toothache, skin diseases. Sources of vitamin C, butter, egg, and fish, fish oil, and also sun exposure. Just by going out and getting some sunlight in the morning, our body will generate vitamin D. Next, vitamin E. The importance of vitamin E is to maintain the functions of reproductive system. So the lack of it quite naturally will be sterility and also fetus miscarriage. The source will be grains and green vegetables. So eat your vegetables, kids. Vitamin K. The importance will be speeding up the blood clotting process. And not having enough of vitamin K can cause prolonged bleeding meaning you bleed and it is hard for you to stop bleeding because the blood has trouble clotting 
The source will be egg yolk, milk, and fish oil. Mineral. Well, just like vitamin, there are a lot of different types of mineral. Generally, minerals are non-organic substances required by the body. They do not supply energy as well, and also they are required in small quantities. And the general function of it will be regulate body processes to maintain health. Well, we have different types of mineral like calcium, sodium, iron, iodine, phosphorus, and potassium. First, calcium. The importance of calcium will be to help with blood clotting and strengthens bones and teeth. And not having enough of calcium can cause rickets and osteoporosis. What are some of the sources of calcium? Prawns, milk, green vegetables, and also anchovies. Do you know what anchovies is? It is ikan bilis, okay? Sodium. The importance will be maintain the function of your nervous system. So not having enough can cause muscle cramp. We can get sodium from meat, salt, and egg. Next, iron. The importance of iron will be to build hemoglobin in the blood. That is the red blood cell. And not having enough of it can cause anemia. And we can get iron from liver and meat. Next, iodine. It is very important for the function of thyroid gland. And not having enough of it can cause goiter. Goiter is the type of disease where you see the patient of goiter, they will have a very swollen neck. Okay? And the source of iodine will be seafood and fruits next phosphorus phosphorus is important to strengthen bones and teeth and to form nucleic acid in dna and rna not having enough of phosphorus can cause rickets brittle teeth meaning your teeth break easily and also cannot build rna and dna the source of uh, the sources of phosphorus, we have cheese, meat, eggs, and vegetables. Next, potassium. Potassium is very important to help with our muscle contraction. And it also maintains the functions of our nervous system. And the effects of deficiency, meaning if we do not have enough, there might be a problem of paralysis or muscle cramp. Okay? And potassium can be obtained from most of the plants and animals. Plants like broccoli, spinach, and so on. Okay, animals, turkey, chicken, beef, and so on. That's all from Jacob in this video. I shall see you in the next video. If you have learned something new in this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, to share, and to subscribe. And you can find other Form 2 videos from this playlist. Check them out, okay? Bye!